Hey, Dad Random here. Um, I am making a quick run over to uh, the ballot box. Uh, it is election week next week. I've got a couple of mail-in ballots I want to drop. Um, won't have time next week, so I'm going to take a quick ride on the Q20. This is the Q20. Um, the Q20 has been my go-to bike, um, and the Q20 is, uh, you know, I'm trying to, I'm still trying to work out the the, the difference between the Q20 and its battery performance and you know because it's got a bigger battery it's a 20 amp hour battery versus the uh, the ride star um, this is the ride star 1000 and this is a this thing is just solid so the ride star 1000 is just a solid performer um, I can't I can't say t uh, enough about it I mean I have taken a rugged a rugged trip or two uh, it's comfortable um, and the uh, the Q20 um, is marketed is marketed at just it's just you know they market it at being just a little bit more fun kind of like the the fun factor is a bit higher but um, the ba I'm not really happy about the battery sag um, especially going uphill. I'm, I'm a pretty heavy rider and the battery sag uh, has been pretty dramatic. And then when I get back and everything is cool and it starts to, uh, it starts, everything starts to even out, um, the battery recovers quite a bit. I think it, there's really little difference between the two um, when uh, you look at it uh, from the final voltage. So anyways... Uh, I, I think what I need to do is a, a an endurance test between the two, but yep, I'm gonna strap on. I'm gonna strap on, and I think it's time uh, to it's time to go and and uh, do our nation's bidding. Uh, we have we have just a it's just a primary. So, but anyways, I'm gonna drop a couple ballots off at the library, and I am out of here, uh, and taking the Q20 with me. And no, you're not taking it. Okay, All right, dead random. All right, here we go. I am going to get loaded up. All right, let's get that video started and let's get on the road. All right. But uh, yeah, RideStar has been really impressive. I really have enjoyed, uh, really enjoyed the build quality of the RideStars. Uh, this one, I told you, well, you know, that the Q20 is not as comfy uh, when you're riding, but uh, it sure is nice to just to just kick back with. So I'm gonna go ahead and start up and we're gonna head on out. Oh, I gotta turn the battery on with that. You gotta remember to turn the battery on and there we go. Uh, and we're off, all right. Let's go ahead and kick up the, we are out of here. But uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's head on down the road. So, all right, so the Ride Star. Q20. Um, great for these little shots, little little uh, little shots down the road where you don't have to go very far. Uh, this guy's building a wall up there. That's a uh, that's ironic. All right. But uh, yeah, we've been getting an average of 28 miles an hour out of this uh, on full speed. So we are when we're kicking it right down. We're getting 28 out of this. And we're heading up the trail, all right. But yeah, it's, uh, it's been a, you know, it's been kind of a decision, you know, to, uh, which one is more comfortable because this one you're just in, uh, this is just throttle mode. And let's go ahead. Fifth, uh, so 53 volts. No pedaling. <laughs> and then we'll get a good, I want to get a good, uh, now I've adjusted the brakes on this. I did have a little bit of brake squeal. Um, you can go on to the videos online. It, there's a there's several videos that talk about how to get rid of the squeal of your brakes or any of the, the uh, weird brake adjustments that happen. And yeah, every once in a while you gotta you gotta give it a little bit of a kick up the hill. You know, 
just a little bit of pedaling, hardly any though. You know, just just throttle it, and then just just a little bit of just a little pedaling. And oh man, we got a little slippage going on right there. And that wow, that loosened up on me. Oh wow, I did not think that was going to happen. Here, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna have to stop and adjust that. Um, I didn't have this very tight, so I'm gonna turn this off. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this. All right, Dad, random here. Um, let me tell you something. The 10 millimeter socket is absolutely the most important socket that you can carry around. This little socket right here will save your bacon so much. Um, so yeah, you have to have the quarter inch drive and the 10 mil anytime you're going anywhere. I mean, you get a little bit of tight, a little bit of things like this that uh, kind of give you. A, so anyway, a 10 mil, man. If you got this, you pretty much can fix anything. All right, let's go ahead and, but yeah, a little universal bike tool right there and a 10 millimeter socket. Just saved my ride. All right, we're out of here. But we were just saved by the 10 millimeter socket. But we're not, uh, we don't have that far to go. Uh, we only have about, uh, we only have about, uh, about two miles and it's all trail. So this will be nice, nice ride. Nice laid back, uh, easy ride. So we're not going to make it. Uh, we're not going to make it more crazy than it needs to be. But that's kind of what this bike is good about. Is good for. Um, here's a question: Should you have your front light? Should you have your light on or not? Um, I, I say yeah. You know, if you're going to be uh, if you're going to be going through and and facing a lot of traffic, a lot of other bikes, uh, yes. I would say the only thing I would add to this this specific bike would be a bell. And as goofy as that sounds, the bells are just a nicer sound to warn people than than a really loud. Um, hear that little bit of a rub? Um, I can get rid of that too. I also have a, that tool will actually take that brake rub out. But uh, when I go full speed, it's fine. But yeah, it's. Uh, So uh, my front cam is the uh, Osmo Action, original Osmo Action, and we're uh, we're running with uh, we're running with the Action Two on the on the chest cam, and every, what's cool is everybody that sees you on this bike, particularly, they are like that is cool. And by the way, this thing for a short buzz ride like this is absolutely the best. I so a lot of fun. So we are uh, motoring ahead, but yeah. So yeah, that, that little tool. If you don't have a multi tool, the other thing I'm, I probably should have. I do have a bike pump. Uh, this one lacks a tool bag, so you, you really don't have a big bag for carrying like a, an air pump. And you probably in this one, you probably should have a uh, one of the hand pumps, something that's light, something you could strap or put inside of the, this little case. Um, the other advantage of the, of the original Ridestar 1000 14 amp hour, 1000 uh, watt bike is, is definitely the, the uh, cargo rack. On my cargo rack, I carry uh, this one. You have to have a backpack, you know. With the other one, I don't have to have a backpack. So, so yeah, we're not uh, too far away from where I need to go. So, uh, we got a, we did have a big rainstorm. So, got to be careful. We got puddles. Uh, I, I'm just trying to keep this puppy clean. I'm kind of crazy that way, but uh, I don't want to go over a lot of stuff with this. I do have uh, dual suspension. But I don't want to, um, I don't, I've got my phone, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, and as, as comfy as this, uh, as, as well built as the phone case, and if I'm going to jump and I'm going to really challenge the suspension, I'm probably not, not going to put my phone where it's at right now. I'm going to put it inside that little plastic case below me. Oh boy, yeah, we got mud here. So here is our first challenge, and uh, all right, we, this is when you, this is when you say, um, I'm glad I have, 
I'm glad I kept the bumpers on. <laughs> what a wuss. I should be just pounding through that. But yeah, this is mud, 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 man. So I'll be hosing this bike off in a minute. Oh, wow. Oh, we, we got flooded. The, the, the trail is underwater. I did, holy crap, I didn't know this. Look, I found a, look at that, I found a, uh, there's a rugby ball. So yeah, look at the ducks over here. I did not know that the trail got flooded. I have, it, there's nobody that posted anything. So, <laughs> all right, I guess that we can, we're not going that way. So I'm going back, oh man, I am, I am totally all muddy. That's okay, man, that's, that's why we're, that's why we're riding, uh, that's why we're riding this bike. This bike is uh, deflecting all the mud. So another great reason to to leave your, uh, to have fenders. <laughs> a lot of people say, oh, fenders aren't cool. Guys, fenders are totally cool. I didn't know that this flooded like that. Wow, that's cool. And uh, it, it did get under, like this right here, this got underwater. We've had a ton of rain though. So yeah, a lot of people are finding this out. So I am gonna get out of here. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go up onto the road. Not a problem, not a problem. Uh, I could go around to the left. Let's go up, uh, let's go up the hill. Let's uh, do a little bit of uphill. I am, my shoes are completely covered in mud. <laughs> and we're gonna be throwing mud this whole trip. So I might as well just uh, drive fast and get it over with. Uh, so yeah, we flooded up, man. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a quick, I'm gonna do a quick, uh, knock off of, uh, of the mud that <laughs> was so cool so yeah, we got to go up this hill here and you'll see where this where this where this bike has a little bit of a challenge to it uh, is this right here it really will struggle with that but this is pretty steep this is no wimpy freaking hill but I can go through the park over here up here and then I'm going to work my way over just really slow and I want to get on the, get on the bike trail right here oh there we go a little slip ridge there but yeah I got that is nasty so I did not know that we flooded over that like that okay, we'll just go down in here I could have just stayed on the road but what fun is that when you can challenge this but we've get we've been getting some this massive rain and this bike right here, I'm just telling you, this is made, fat tires, made for this. It's made for this ride right here. Challenging, a little bit of water. I, I just got, my, my pedals are completely, completely covered in mud. So, that's what we got. Get on the trail again. I just wasn't planning on uh, I wasn't planning on off-roading today. I was planning on doing the opposite. There's a that's actually a BMX course right there, a little race race course. A lot of biking in this town. A lot of muddy feet right now too. All right. So down below here, um, we are going to go to library so we're gonna have to go meet up with the trail again down here so we have to go around I'll, I'll show you where the flood is we're actually gonna go across the dike check that out that's what we're going across that totally filled look at that big old reservoir and it comes out the bottom and I can't believe that's full like that check that out I'm gonna stop really quick so you can see it so you can appreciate it right there check that out right there so that's the dike and there's usually a trail that skirts and then it comes out up over there so pretty awesome that's pretty pretty amazing actually and the rain's coming again so right down there is where the water is supposed to be let out and it's not there uh, i don't know why they're not just letting out some of that water besides it going onto the road so we're almost to the we're almost to the library so we're heading to head over to the library here we'll go by this kid so Yeah, pretty cool. Um, could I have ridden? I could have gotten, guys, I could have rode the roads all the way, but that's the whole fun of trails. Look at that, that field is good looking, man. Hopefully uh, my cameras are doing it some justice. So we're gonna go over, uh, there is a, uh, 
there's a, uh, a drop box over here for for votes. So we're gonna go over here to the drop box. And uh, there it is right over there, mail-in drop box. So we're gonna go over there. And we're gonna do our civic duty, which is to vote. Right there, there's our drop box. And we're going to, that person's probably gonna vote too. But, uh, uh, and let's see, there's our ballots for that election here. You think I found the mud today? Hey. <laughs> My exciting Dropbox trip. Yeah. I guess I gotta throw, uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, you too, you too. Okay. So we're gonna go head on back. And we'll get back on the trail over here. Let her go by us. And, uh, uh hoop. oh. Back on the trail and we're gonna head on back. So, uh, let's, uh, let's check out our mud right now. Let's see, we're going to do a little bit of mud, uh, mud review. Let's go ahead and shut that one down. And let's check out there. So, so that's what we're looking like mud-wise from just that little trip. You can see, but it's okay. It's, uh, with nothing that a hose can't fix. So, not bad. Are we still running? I'm uh, just checking to make sure we're running, but um, not bad at all. Um, yeah, a little bit weak on the uphill. Uh, it is warm today, but not as hot as it's been. I've ridden this bike in well over 100 degrees. Uh, the mud on the brakes, not a big deal. Um, other than that, it's, you know, and we got the, we got this kind of stuff here going. All right, just uh, probably make sure that when we uh, get done that we clean off, once we clean off the chain and everything, that uh, we also uh, put some lube on. But uh, yeah, the, my pedals are completely mudded over. But uh, look at that. But they've got little spikes on them. So if you look at the tops of the pedals there. But uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's finish it out. Let's go uh, get on the road. And uh, it looks like the rain is coming again. All right. Let's let's head on out. Let's make like a... You know, let's, let's put the... Uh, but easy, easy stuff, man. This is the kind of stuff you want to do with the bike like this. Okay. Uh, let's go through the grass, maybe, huh? Let's go down through the grass. Reason being is we can probably, well, I guess we can do this, wash off our, wash off our tires a little bit, clean them off. Yeah. But uh, I bet you that I, I actually know that that down there, there's actually a drain tile that goes along that, the bottom of the field here. But it, uh, it's mud. I know it. <laughs> Um, I used to I used to work in that building over there, so I, I know a lot about that field. But uh, so we're uh, we're gonna go um, we're gonna go reverse course, get back on the road. I I probably I probably would have gone through town today if it wasn't Saturday. Uh, it's gonna be busy through town. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get on the flats and uh, just kind of uh, kind of debrief from this trip here. But yeah, it's it's been a it's been a challenge uh, the rain. So we're gonna get I think we're gonna go on the go on the street. We could go we could go through Santa uh, to the town over there. Yes, yeah, let's just go up the street. Uh, get some get some speed runs going. But uh, yeah, she is not she. Uh, you know, she's, it's 49, that's pretty normal for where we're at. This is not a very long trip. But uh, 49 volts. But, you know, if you look at the energy bar on the top, that energy bar uh, at, on certain trips has dropped down about a quarter. And on this run, on this run specifically, no, so. Everybody's taking advantage of you So you'll see that uh, once we get into the flats, this thing will just start, uh, you know, we'll start to increase our speed up to probably uh, 28. Um, you know, 
watch my watch the gravel. Everything's loose right now because of the rain. But uh, great ride, nice cool uh, cool day. That's where everything should be cooling off. So my cameras should uh, should benefit from the change in temperature. And uh, yeah, we're yeah we're we're getting to 28, 27. Probably get up to 28. I'm a little bit uphill yet. Uh, my camera's now holding on. I like I thought I had it tight, but what happened was it it hit a flat part, so I had to the little. Uh, but this is not a, a, a clamping one. You have to on this specific uh, camera clamp. You have to. Uh, you have to screw it down, so... And that guy's in the bike path there. So anyway, so many can, you, can, uh, you can adjust on the fly. I'd say that'd be the only thing I don't like. Other than that, you really don't want to adjust it. You want it to be, you know, solid, you know? So yeah, we're, now we're 29, so... I told you this thing, I, I told you this thing could go dang near 30. 29 something like that and uh, now we're loose again the camera's loose again and let's just make a turn here yeah she loosened up again and yeah that's that can't happen you can't have a can't have a a, a, a connector that loosens like that so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop and do another adjustment um, I, I the only problem I have with that tool, that specific tool I got, is that uh, it's hard to get in some of these tight spots. So I'm going to fix that right now. I'm going to, so just give me a give me a second. So this is the tool I'm going to use, 10, uh, 10 centimeter. So I'm going to take this apart, turn it off. Turn this one off. About everything uh, you do on this bike is going to be within the range of these tools here. Uh, four to five millimeter hex and uh, eight and ten millimeter uh, sockets. So this has a little, like I said, a little socket wrench. Um, pretty nice little, little handy tool. All right, let's get back on the road. All right. All right, we're back. I think we're good. Let's double check our, yeah, we're, we're recording again. Both cameras really working good. Uh, let's see, 5.2 volts, see the recovery. I told you battery recovered really fast. And our, our, mud, our mud's dried off too, which has been really nice. You can see we're uh, coming back uh, on, the, on the map over there, on the speedometer map. This is kind of like a highway over here, so people don't expect bikes to go as fast as cars. Uh, you can see we're continuing to speed up. We gotta watch out for people. People do not see black. I should probably one of these days buy a bike that's white, yellow. But uh, a lot of black on me, and uh, like I said, not a lot of not a lot of distinguishing characteristics other than just a headlight motorcycle, you know. People don't know what's in between a motorcycle and a bike, and that's kind of surprises people. I think, I guess, you know. Um, the other thing I think would be nice is if we have a uh, we get uh, some. Some blinkers on this thing, that'd be nice. You're literally a car, so you might as well have some blinkers. And some boats off.
So 5.18 miles. Uh, there was our there was our trip right there, and there was our stop, or we had to go up and around. Let's see, uh, 52 point. So we started out at 54, 54.5 to 52.3. So 52.3 was our stopping point. 54.5 was our beginning point. So that's uh, that was our energy consumption for that five miles. So 10 miles, I mean, you, you can, well, if you do the math, you can, you can tell we probably get about 20, get, probably 20 miles out of this. Just depends. It just depends on, but you can see our energy bar came back and um, this was as low as 49. The, vol the, vol the, the, the voltage drop was as little as 49 um, during the trip. I don't know if it, I don't think it dropped below 49, so we'll have to look at the replay. But they're at dead random. I would I would say that that's a pretty telling ride um, as far as performance. So I, I suggest you know we look at that, and then on our next ride when we do a another similar ride, um, look at the voltage drop and then the final voltage of about the same ride. I, I easily can can double that ride up. So about a little over five miles, 5.18. So we'll drive 5.18. Try to to uh, repeat the the same terrain. Uh, I, I want to do a serious comparison that will give us real results, you know, so, and I'm just an average rider. I'm not a, I'm not a fancy rider. I don't, I, I, I'm not going to tell you that I ride every day. I'm not going to say that. Um, I'm an average rider. Average riders do not ride every day. We ride when it, we have time. Uh, uh, oh, the other thing I want to say is this uh, chest harness. So that chest harness came um, from, from these guys. Uh, so this is uh this is same top same top uh, and they uh, provided me with this thank you so much same top i this is a, a really nice uh, camera harness it's very comfortable uh very simple to operate uh, just a one a one hand operation there you go and we can connect it back up right there so we're really uh really nice and of course this is what i'm running my action two on i'm running it on this uh, magnetic mount so uh yeah i would say it's a good one there's a, there's other harnesses that i'm going to try out this one is definitely the most sturdy if you're going to do a long ride and you don't want the camera flopping around there is one more coming that i want to show you guys but thank uh thank you i appreciate uh, i appreciate same top uh for uh letting me try this out it's uh, excellent harness very comfortable fits me i'm a real got a really big chest so uh very very uh, very good so all right Yes, same top. Appreciate it, uh, helping me out, getting my, building my channel. Um, so, all right, later. Dad, random. The Ridstar Q20. Um, yes, the Ridstar Q20. And uh, yeah, it can get muddy and it can get wet. I just freaking hosed it down. All right, later. Bye. Rugged ride. Not, but average ride. Yes.